Okay, so let's just move this so we can see it a little bit better. Let's get the pen. Now, we've got a triangle here. It's actually a nice sausage triangle. Now, I know it's a nice sausage triangle because uh, 7 centimeters and 7 centimeters are the same. It's not equilateral because uh, we've got 8, seven, eight centimeters on the bottom. Now, I would like to work out the length of A to N. So I'm looking to work out this length down here. And well, I'm going to highlight to sort or of isolate one part of the diagram. If I redraw the diagram like this, where we have A at the top, B down the side, and we have N. This is now right angle because it's labelled in the diagram, and we've got the length. This must be four centimeters here, and this is seven centimeters from A to B. So now we've turned the triangle and our sausage triangle into a complicated, into a single right angle triangle. But we should know what to do with this. We should know that using Pythagoras' theorem, that this case we want to, we don't want to find out the hypotenuse. We want to find out one of the shorter sides. So we want to do the hypotenuse squared minus 4 squared, because um, the hypotenuse is 7, it's the longest side, the other sides must be shorter, that's why we're subtracting, and then we find that a n squared must be 49 minus 16, or a m, finding the square root after you've subtracted, is the square root of 33. And that's approximately equal to that's approximately equal to 5.744 Okay, it's approximately equal to that centimeters. However, our question quite clearly says that we want to answer two decimal places. So, all we need to write down now is 5.7. We want to cut off between that. This 4 doesn't run the previous 4 up, so it's 5.74 centimeters, two decimal places. If you're not sure, you might want to go back and have a look over this video again.